this perch here. Hey. Oops, I dripped everything. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so hopefully you guys can see. If you can't see, just yell at John and he'll fix it for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you guys all know this is a yellow perch. Have you? Has anyone caught a yellow perch before? Amanda, is that a yes? <laughs> okay, well, I'm sure you guys have before. So this is a yellow perch. This is what I what that research was that I showed you. And so um, the percular bone is right here. It's actually where their um, gills are. So kind of where your cheek would be is where this bone is. So right here. And if I bring it up close, I don't know if you can see. This is the... This is the opercular bone right here, and this is the subopercular bone. You guys can see that. You see that second kind of piece there? That's the, right here. That's the part you don't want. You'll see when I take it off. So all you do, first of all, your fish has to be dead. You only do this if you're keeping the fish. That's the point of it, okay? You wanna know how old your fish is that you're keeping so you understand the fish that you're taking out of the lake. If they're alive and you don't wanna keep them, let them go. You don't have to age them just for that. So it's right here. <laughs> And so all you do is you're going to just bend this back and remember the fish is dead, don't worry. And you're going to feel like a bit of a give to it and you're going to keep going until you hear that sound. Sorry, I didn't mean it to be like a horror movie. <laughs> and so then what you're going to do is this is a, this is a subopercular. You're just going to peel that part off like this. So it's really easy. And then all you have left is this bone. And you just peel it off, and then you can do the twist, and just twist it right off. Okay, so that's your percular bone with skin on it. Obviously you can't see anything, but you can kind of see that some of it's starting to show. So for perch, what I like to do is set it in warm water for a couple minutes so that the, the skin kind of comes off. So I'm just going to put it in some warm water for a bit, and we'll do the walleye while we're waiting. You don't want boiling water, you can boil it and then put it in, but you don't want to put it actually on the stove because it'll make the bone go all white and you won't be able to, to read it. So we'll leave him for a bit. <laughs> and we are going to age a walleye now. It's much bigger. Whoa, it's getting bigger. Oh my god. So this is a walleye. All of these fish actually just caught on Echo this past weekend. So lots of fishermen like to fish for walleye and they want to know how old they are. So if you guys ever catch walleye and you're going to keep and eat them, you should do this because it works really, really well on walleye. So maybe you guys can see it better on this one. Here's the apricular bone. And here is the main apricular bone, this part. And here's the subapricular bone. And so we're going to remove that subapricular bone just like we did for the perch. So you're going to bend it back. It's a little bit harder on the big fish. And the walleye are a little bit um, more brittle, so you have to be a bit more careful. And you can peel off the subopercular bone carefully. And then you're left with just the opercular. My hands are probably in the way. And you don't have to do this with your fingers. You can use scissors or whatever, but I find this is easier. But if you don't want to be like me, you can use gloves or whatever you want. Okay, and so I just peeled it off this part here. And it'll come right off. And again, you twist it. And the cool thing about walleye is because their skin is like really loose, it comes off really easy. You don't have to put them in water normally. You can just peel it off. <coughs> or I'll try to at least. Theoretically. It'll work, I promise. It just takes me a second. There we go. Okay, so you guys see this? It's going to come right off, and we're going to see a pretty oh, yeah, bone. Oh, yeah, yeah, nice. yeah, yeah, I see it. Now it's clear. Yeah. yeah. So that's easy. This is something you can do on the boat. You don't have to clean it off like the perch. You can do it right there. And there's still a little bit of stuff on it, so you might want to take it off with maybe paper towel. <laughs> okay, so it's cleaned off. You don't have to take everything off. I like to because I'm a nerd, but you don't have to. 
So, now, obviously you guys are probably wondering, like, I can't see the age on this yet, right? Well, it actually has to dry a bit um, to, for the bands to pop up because it's still wet. So, I usually leave it for like 20 minutes and then it's ready to go. Um, but I have some that are already dried from these fish, so we'll be able to age them in a second. First, we'll do this yellow perch. Oh, it's hot. And so now the tissue is kind of loose, so you can just rub it off with the, comes right off, with the paper towel. And there you go, now I have a perfect little bone. And so this is the same thing, we're going to let it dry for a bit. So, I already have the prickly bones for these guys done, so I want you guys to guess how old they are. So how old do you think this perch is? There's no wrong answer. Yet. How old do you think he is? Uh, I don't know. Three? Three? You're going to guess three? Okay. We'll age it. And how about the walleye? How old do you think this big walleye is? Uh, Twenty. Twenty? That's pretty... He's not that big. Three or four. Three or four. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, no one bet against you, so you're going to win anyways. <laughs> um, okay, so let's do the perch. Now, this might be hard to see, but we can pass it around and you guys can look at it. So this is the same apricular bone from that perch. It's just dried, so you can see the bands. I know it's kind of hard, but I'll pass it around. I can see it. And this perch is actually five years old. So it's kind of slower growing than you would think. In, to come from Marco Pell Lakes. So I'll pass it around. You guys want to? It's not gross, don't worry. <laughs> and just pass it around so everyone can see down the rows. And you can try and count it. And careful, it's pretty sharp. You can prick yourself on it. If you've ever caught a perch and you poke yourself in the thumb, that's probably what you're poking yourself on. I don't know. There's five bands there if you can count them. Okay, and so now the walleye, you guys said three or four years old? I said three or And you three. said 20. <laughs> well, you're both not very close. But what? <laughs> the walleye, this, is, this walleye is actually eight years old. And you can kind of see this I was one. closer. You were yeah. closer, yeah. There, can you guys see that a bit better? Uh, we'll yeah. pass it around yeah. to you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's clear. So this was actually really surprising because he's not that big. Walleye get a lot bigger. There's walleye over there. You can go see him after. <laughs> You should hold up the wall. <laughs> so that wall looks more like eight years old, not this one. So it was surprising that this guy was so old. It just means that he grows really slow. And I actually caught him out of a river, not the lake. So maybe in the river they grow a little bit slower. So you guys can pass this around too. That one should be easier to count. Do you see eight? Yeah? You should at least be able to see seven. The eight one is kind of on that edge like I showed you guys. It's so big though. <laughs> it's a big old big hair. Yeah. Oh, I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> it is pretty good. The eighth one is right on the edge. It's a little bit hard to see. Oh,